now first gear is just like that's without changing my riding position or anything that's just giving it gas and that's not giving it full throttle either that's just giving it a little bit of gas How's it going everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another video. Finally getting some mods on the Husky. Been wanting to do this forever. Now finally broken in, got my performance test done. Now we can start modding it. What we're gonna be doing today is the fuel dongle from Rottweiler Performance. It's just this little thing right here. It's a super easy install. All it does is block out your O2 sensor. It's supposed to help with low RPM torque and helps supposed to richen up the bike in the low RPM. So we'll see what it does. If you guys aren't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate if you could drop a sub. A lot of you guys watching aren't subscribed yet. It helps me out a ton, doesn't cost you guys anything. So for this video, I wanted to do an install then review. As you guys know, I did the performance test. If you guys haven't watched that yet, it's I did a zero to 60, zero to 100 wheelie test, all that type of stuff. So what I wanna do is install this and then I'll show you guys how to install it. And then I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna rerun that performance test and we'll see what it does, see if it changes anything. Also tomorrow, I'm gonna try the free airbox mod where you just drill a hole, drill some holes or cut out the back of the air box on the lid. So we'll see, that'll go up tomorrow. But let's go ahead and get into the bike and get this thing installed. First things first, get the seat off. Pop that. And seat slides off. The air box mod will be coming tomorrow, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Alrighty, next, it looks like I have to take off this side fairing as well as this plastic piece right here. Basically, I'm just trying to chase the O2 sensor wire. Alrighty, got my T30. Two, and then we also got two on the front here. Sweet, four bolts. All right, and then after you have those four T30s off, this side fairing just pops off. I wonder, I just saw this. I wonder what this is for. It's like a storage compartment right here. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. So there's some storage on the bike, but I don't. I wonder if that's, I don't think you can access that while the fairing's on, but that's interesting. All right, so good news, actually, you don't need to take this black cover off. I just took it off and looked underneath. The plug is actually right here. It's this little green one. So I'm gonna unplug this and I'll plug in the fuel dongle. Alrighty, there it goes. So I got it disconnected and then all you do is you take the fuel dongle and you plug this in there. And then if you ordered one of the plugs, all you would do is pull this wire out, take your O2 sensor out, and then just cap it with one of the caps that Rottweiler gives you. But I'm just gonna leave it in there for now because I'm gonna go to a Power Commander soon and I'll, when I do the Power Commander, I'll remove it. There you go, installed, done. That was a super easy install. Now I'm gonna slap everything back on and then we'll get out on the road and test it, see if it does anything. That was definitely the easiest install I've ever had. So let's go ahead and start it up, make sure we don't have a check engine light or anything like that now. Sounds good. No check engine light, anything like that. Everything looks good. Let's get out on the road, see how it rides. Ah, uh, almost out of gas. Gotta go get gas first. So already, oh my gosh, the difference is unbelievable. It feels like, I mean, this is how the bike feels like it should feel. Gas light went off for the stoppy. That's funny. Oh, back on. This is what the bike feels like it should feel like. That's the best way to describe it. The power delivery is much more linear. Hello there. Chester. Oh. One, one, two, four. Yeah, there you go. Sick. <laughs> Chester, I would shake your hand. There you go. Nice to meet you. Everybody probably always looks at me weird for putting gas in the back of the bike. The Husky is definitely not an easy bike to fill up. Like the gas tank is super shallow. Tap, tap, tap. Alrighty, all gassed up. Let's ride. Already immediately feels so much better. Like the, the it used to be extremely chill riding it. Now it seems like, like if you've ever ridden like a really snappy sport bike that's almost what it feels like like it like the fc09 if you if you sneeze while you're on an fc09 it will wheelie like the throttle is unbelievably like snappy and responsive that's how this thing is feeling all right i'm just gonna go up here If you, like, if you watch the video on the 100 mile review, it, it was just like, you could turn the throttle a fairly decent amount and nothing would happen. Now, 
it's got a little bit of snap to it it's a way more responsive and it just feels like like the quick shifter works better it feels like it has so much more low end torque if you don't already have one of these i 10 out of 10 recommend i think it was like 30 dollars absolutely changes the bike like this this is what i feel like the husky should have been the day i bought it it feels more like an actual like 700 cc dirt bike like how it should feel like first gear second gear wheelies are coming up way smoother i'm not having to give it a ton of gas to get it to wheelie up i used to have to give it so much gas for a second like i second gear in this bike should be coming up without even trying and now it is and that's i haven't even done an exhaust airbox and this is not even like a power commander this is just the fuel dongle so i definitely see how much potential this bike has now that i'm starting to unlock a little bit of it but definitely like, like i'll show you guys from the light the biggest thing is just to ride a bit like how it rides like i can just get going quick shifter works way better and it's just like the, the insta torque is there at low arp is low throttle load like you don't have to wrap the crap out of it to get it to go anywhere like i used to have to like i mean i'm barely barely turning the throttle to accelerate there oh Doger. hello sweet car too got the dogs and the car <laughs> Oh, they're sweet. Have a good day. M3 and two brown labs. Doesn't get much better than that. I'm curious to see if I'm going to be able to get up a third gear wheelie now. We'll see. This is a little bit of a tight lane split. Oh. now will wheelie me over backwards if I just give it gas which is how this bike should be it should want to flip you I honestly think the way that the way it was before it was like a safety issue for like people that don't know how to ride because now it, it feels like more of a snappy dangerous bike but if you know how to ride this is how a bike should feel let's see what it does i don't really think it's going to change anything on the zero to 60 because it doesn't really change anything for full throttle or anything like that but it where you really really notice it is the bottom end the bottom end is a completely different bike like all right let's see how wheelies so as i was saying first gear now is like like scary jumpy like how first gear should be on this bike second gear third gear I think it'll do the third gear wheelie I just got to get a little bit more room here I think I, I did a third gear wheelie before I got gas so I think I think it might just be because I just filled up the gas tank you think that would be helping but It, I'm getting the wheel off the ground. I just can't necessarily get it all the way back for the wheelie. Yeah, there we go. Maybe I'll sit a little farther back. First gear, second gear, third gear. Like, I'm giving it everything she's got. I honestly think it's just because I filled up on gas and now it's heavier. Because I, I got up a third gear wheelie last night. Third gear. the front wheel up way better than it used to for sure but it, i just can't get it to come up past that balance point but see first gear now is just 
scary as it should be. I think I just need to get the timing right. It, it'll definitely do it. It's picking the front wheel up. Oh, like here, let me try one standing up. Whoa. Yeah, see, standing up, it's coming up. Beautiful car, man. Have a good day. I think it's all a combination. I think this is just one piece of the puzzle to unlock the bike. Like, as, I, as you guys saw, the, the biggest thing I need to show you guys is first gear. That, because first gear used to wheelie, but it like, you had to give it gas. It wasn't like you just did it easy. Now, first gear is just... Like, that's without changing my riding position or anything. That's just giving it gas. And that's not giving it full throttle either. That's just giving it a little bit of gas. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. 10 out of 10 recommend getting one of these things. Absolutely changes how the bike rides for around street riding and stuff. Just that low RPM torque is so, so worth it. But thanks for tuning into the video. Make sure you guys check out the merch, and I will see you guys in the next one.